Hey guys, so today I have a uh, Zobie Goes Metal box. Uh, I am uh, pretty surprised that I got this box actually, uh, and I was uh, late to ordering it. I didn't order it until I saw the contents of it. Uh, and uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know me well, I mean, you know, I'm in general a big music person, but I wouldn't really say that I'm a metal fan, really. I mean, I can probably count on one hand the uh, number of metal bands that I really uh, say I particularly enjoy and keep up with. Uh, but yeah, uh, I did, of course, see the contents of this box. Uh, Honestly, the only thing that really appeals to me in it is the uh, autograph, but uh, I mean, obviously, it was a uh, good enough autograph for me to uh, go ahead and purchase the entire box. So, yeah, for those of you who are uh, metal fans that are uh, watching this, I am kind of sorry, but uh, yeah, the contents of this box uh, don't particularly appeal to me, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, get into it. Uh, Say that uh, the first person who comes to my mind when I'm opening this box is uh, the Hoosier nerd. So, I mean, other than the uh, main autograph, if there's anything in this box that you want, you just let me know. I'll send it your way. I do kind of wish I had uh, got in touch with you about the shirt size. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, like, you know, once I saw the contents of it and saw that there were still some available, it's just kind of a quick impulse thing that I did, so, you know, let's get on into it, uh, the first thing that I'm getting is the, uh, t-shirt, I will say that probably after the autograph, this is probably, in my opinion, the coolest thing, or at least the thing that I'm, you know, least recognize, I'm somewhat familiar with, but, uh, yeah, we have a, uh, Zach Wild t-shirt, you know, I wouldn't really call myself a Zach Wild fan, but, you know, I do, have a certain degree of appreciation for him. You know, I do recognize his talent. You know, I am at least fairly familiar with him. So it is a cool shirt, I'll say. Uh, next up we have, oh boy, I'm gonna have to dig up a score sheet for this. So let's dig around for that real quick. So uh, got a uh, guitar pick from Ace Von Johnson. Uh, Faster Pussycat. I don't know if that's the name of his band, but yeah, we do have a uh, guitar pick from him, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, next up, we have a uh, little mini uh, autograph card, and this is from uh, Diamond Row from. Uh, Tetrarch, uh, band name sounds familiar, but I don't think I've ever heard anything from them, uh, next up we have a, uh, art print from, uh, Short Fuse Studios, uh, of Mick number seven from Slipknot, and, uh, Slipknot, yeah, I'm at least familiar with Slipknot, but I'm not really a Slipknot fan, uh, and last but not least, the reason why I signed up for this, uh, we have a, uh, 8 by 10 signed by Thomas is coming here, my co-host, I've got, a, okay, he's going away now, uh, from, uh, Doyle Wolfgang Von Frankenstein from The Misfits, and I'm a huge Misfits fan, I don't really think of them as a metal band, I mean, I do suppose they, uh, kind of crossover with metal, but, uh, yeah, for me, they are a, uh, punk band, and, yeah, I'm a big Misfits fan. I actually almost got his, uh, autograph before, uh, he was supposed to be at a con that I was going to, but then he, uh, dropped out at the last minute. I hear he's kind of an asshole, uh, kind of rude to his fans, uh, and, uh, he apparently doesn't really like meeting up with his fans, and, uh, yeah, like, Right after he dropped out, I saw an interview where he was just kind of, like, sick of uh, meeting up with his fans. So he, like, canceled a bunch of his meet and greets. So I guess that's uh, what was going on with him. So, he, you know, I did still want to get his autograph, though, you know. So this is kind of a good way of uh, getting his autograph without uh, 
having to meet up with him, I suppose. But yeah, I'm a big Misfits fan, and I really wanted to get this autograph. So yeah, who's your nerd? If you're watching and you want any of that stuff in that box, just let me know. I'll send it your way. Uh, otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what I'll uh, do with the contents of that box. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get into some pen orders now. Uh, so first up, I got one from Evergood Merch. Uh, I've lately been having a lot of things uh, ordered with them, a lot of pre-orders and stuff, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up with. I think this is a uh, Harry Potter pen that I ordered from them. I'm not sure. I wasn't keeping up with the tracking for either of these orders, so it's kind of a mystery. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, Harry Potter collection. It's a sort of a uh, new series that they're doing, I guess. Uh, called the bookshelf collection but yeah you just got all the harry potter books and they make up hogwarts so that's cool and this is a uh, collaboration with uh cultural girl flair uh if i'm not mistaken don't quote me on this it'd be kind of awkward i think if i'm wrong but i think that's actually his wife uh so that's neat uh First time I think that they've done a collaboration. Yeah, Evergood does a lot of uh, collaboration pens, and he's done a lot of Harry Potter collaborations with uh, the other order, pen order I'm going to open with this, actually, or some major supply. But yeah, this is the first of a uh, different style of pen, I guess you'd say, for Harry Potter that he's done. Uh, so yeah, speaking of uh, Ursa Major Supply, I do have a uh, pen order from Ursa Major Supply. Uh, this is a uh, ET pen, and uh, he actually. Uh, contacted me on uh, Instagram after I ordered this. I think it's kind of cool that he was able to pen down. Haha, <laughs> pen. Uh, sorry, cheesy humor there. But he was able to pen down uh, who uh, my real name is with my Instagram name because they're completely different. But yeah, he said he uh, tossed in a B-grade variant of this pen with my order, so that's cool. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get all the contents out. So do have a uh, sticker so see based on his description i believe uh this is actually the uh proper pen uh get it out of its wrapping uh said that he uh had to get it remade multiple times because he was having problems so here's the et pen if i'm not mistaken his chest and finger actually glow in the dark so that's pretty neat uh and then the B grade, uh, that's what they refer to as pens that are either rejected for uh, production problems or uh, you get scratched up or whatever. And like I said, this had a lot of production problems, but yeah, use the B grade. So to compare and contrast them, as you can see, this one's kind of darker looking. Uh, I do kind of like the uh, actual. Uh, coloring of the nickel that was used on this one but yeah this kind of makes et look like he was out in the sun for a little bit too long if you know what i mean uh but yeah uh i think it's kind of interesting to see these things i mean it's kind of like a little behind the scenes type things that you see with pens and that rather fascinates me so i am uh rather appreciative that he tossed in this b grade variant so yeah that's uh, a couple pins in the uh, Zoe Goes Metal box, so let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you around.